Uh, Santiago has taught me a lot about how uh, people get out and just enjoy each other and their community. They have festivals in their hometowns. They walk around a whole lot, and by doing so, they get to meet and interact with each other. Um, in America, you don't have so much of that in the local parks. Here, people just gather, they have drinks, they even bring the carnivals to the people. Uh, I think it's a really nice experience to see people out and about and away from their social media. While I am here, I've learnt uh, well, Spanish, obviously, as you would hope, and I've also learnt that unlike Portugal, for sure, and lots of areas of France, particularly Paris, uh, the people here will not force you to speak in English, which is lovely. It's a problem that I have a lot, but yeah, I've, I've been able to speak a lot of Spanish here. I've also learnt that um, despite what other Spaniards say about Galician people, they are pretty easygoing and open and, and friendly. Uh, another thing I've learned is that uh, you can't uh, binge watch a TV series or stay out until 5am and then expect to feel anything better than half dead when you have to be in class at 9am the following day. <laughs> uh, apart from the language, I learned a lifestyle in Spain like siesta and usually uh, Spanish people have their dinner heavy late. Yeah. I learned vosotros. How do you use it? They don't use it in America. I've learned from Spain that Spanish varies in the locations that you might be, whether it's Mexico or Europe or wherever else you speak Spanish. Being Mexican, I already know Spanish, but coming here, um, a lot of words change and the things they say and the accents that they use are totally different. So it's been an amazing opportunity, but definitely the Spanish changes within wherever you are. You would think that a lot of the learning experience would be in the classroom, however, I picked up more just roaming the streets of Santiago, talking to the people, uh, just enjoying the culture. I feel like that grew me as a person a lot. I mean, not just my beard or anything, but uh, I just really was able to just pick up and whenever you interact with people and their culture that you take something from them. And I really, I really feel like I'm able to take something back to America with me, even though I kind of don't want to go back. <laughs>